let's start a little bit at the beginning. You spoke about your father working as a very senior officer with RANW. In fact, he almost became the chief of RANW. What was it like to grow up as the son of a spook? When did you understand that your father was a spy, effectively? Well, we did not know when we were uh, abroad. We were too small. We were in interesting places in Indonesia soon after the coup. Actually, he was there during the coup. We were there. And, you know, they killed over 250,000 people at the low count. Uh, and my mother was there with him. She didn't want to leave him. All the embassy women were asked to go back home. So it, it was an interesting time. And then we went to Sri Lanka when there was the, there was a, uh, you know, insurgency there. And we didn't go to school for a year. That and was how, where, how old were you? Uh, we, in Indonesia, I was about uh, eight, uh, seven, seven, eight. And maybe too young to understand, maybe thought of your father no. as a diplomat, conventional diplomat. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they didn't let on. Yeah, they were, you never yeah, say yeah, you're already and, and obviously, they didn't want us to be <laughs> telling our friends and so on. So it was when, uh, you know, after a state posting in Belgium, you know, my father said, look, we need yeah. these kids to have some schooling. So we went to Belgium and we studied in a French school. So I learned French nice. there. And, uh, uh, well, partly because uh, on government salaries, you couldn't afford the British school. Uh, so, and then we came back to India and and then uh, we learned that uh, he wasn't actually a diplomat. He was a, a, a spy. Uh, but we didn't know what that meant either. Uh, and, and then, you know, uh, we adjusted. But I mean, if you're a consumer of espionage movies like I am, it's kind of thrilling also to discover this, or was it not? It is, but, but it's more... John Le Carre than, uh, <laughs> than James Bond. Yeah. I mean, he didn't go and flash his sports cards. I'm not sure. And bevy of women. Indian, Indian spy. And I don't think my mother would have stood for a bevy, bevy of women. But, uh, but you know, later on when you hear the stories and what they were trying to do, uh, including sort of prevent the Pakistan nuclear program, uh, I think that there was, you know, there were actual um, actions. And, you know, right from the beginning, uh, you know, we were always trying to extract more from him. And as, a, a, you know, he was always reticent. Yeah, uh, as he should be. As he should be. Even now, you know, many years after, if you try and probe him and say, what were we really doing there? You don't get an answer. He's, he's still the reticent policeman. 